idiot. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. Let's dance. Damn it, Bess. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Aid. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! <coughs> Ren. One left. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. Oh. 
one of the Baron's men, are you? Bar your window's tight. Nail an iron stud in the door frame. If only I had not telling that the door set, that'd be sure to keep the humans away. <laughs> Wanna try some goose foot? Supposed to taste like beans. We'll chat about it later. Sure you still want to go there? your hair lately. Now, darling, don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way. Upstairs. Now, as she drinks in the evening before she Which retires... Which Milk, 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 but look me away from a sorcerer's skull, and it's a sorcerer's blood, of course. Geralt, you're here. Good. You might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it, so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falka planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? For as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovitz. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand, I believe you know my associate. 
Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him, support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. <laughs>